Okay, 47 on 3.7. I want to talk about this one because there's uh, several things that I we need to understand. That And this hopefully will help you understand the whole thing. So if you read the story, it says there's a long hallway that leads to a door that takes you into a classroom. And in this classroom, there's a source of magnetic a magnetism. And a source of magnetism spreads out. And there's a person out here that's got a Gauss meter that measures the strength of the magnetic field. And it says that the person's way far out here and the meter reads, I'll make a graph, the meter reads 0.2. And they want you to think of the doorway as where X is zero. And so way out here, it's measuring 0.2. And as you get closer to the source, the strength starts going up until you get to where the, the source is. It gets really, really large. And they're thinking, okay, this is an example of a curve like we've been studying these rational functions. And they said, let's assume it's something like this. And there's the first thing I don't like about the problem. The way we've been learning these, at least the way I've been teaching you these, is to think of y equals, there's an x-intercept. Well, there's no x-intercept. And there's a y-intercept, or y vertical thing at some place, x minus some place where the, the source is. So I'm going to put x minus s. And they saying that this gets closer and closer to point 2. So they had to put an x in the numerator. And so they said, let's just put something there make an x-intercept, but there is no x-intercept, but they made an x-intercept, and there is no x-intercept, and that it gets closer and closer to point 2. So these are the same degree, and so this should be point 2 out here. Now, they multiply the point 2 times this and the point 2 times this, and so they've got it kind of distributed here, and their formula, but this is the, what I would have suggested it looks like. And if we do this and take their information, now one piece of information is that when it gets six feet into the room, remember here's zero, so if you get six feet in, one, two, three, four, five, six, the meter reads at six feet, it meter reads 2.3. And if you get it eight feet in, the meter reads 4.4. Eight feet into the room, it reads 4.4. So we're going to use those to figure out A where there is a supposed x-intercept, which there doesn't appear to be one, and where the source of this is, where that vertical asymptote is. So, the equation isn't the right model for what's going on. So, I'm going to redo this one for a, a model that fits this situation better. But let's go ahead and get the answer they got in the book, 
by doing this. They wanted to know how far in the room was the source. So we're looking for S. We put 6 in for the X's, and we're supposed to get 2.3. So 2.3 is supposed to be 0 0.2 times X minus A over X minus S. If we put 8 in for, oh, 6 minus A and 6 minus S. And if we're in 8 feet, so I put 8 in for the X's, I'm supposed to get 4.4 4 when X is 8. So now we got to solve for A and S. So to do that, I'm going to divide by 0.2 into this. 0.2 into that is going to be 11.5. Uh, I believe. Take this divided by 0.2, dividing both sides by 0.2 to get rid of that. And I get this is equal to 6 minus A over 6 minus S. If I divide both sides of this by 0 0.2, I get, let's see, two, uh, 22 is equal to 8 minus A over 8 minus s. So now, if I multiply both sides by 6 minus s, I get 11.5 times 6 minus s equals 6 minus a. Here I get 22 times 8 minus s equals 8 minus A. Multiplying this out, I get 66, 69 minus 11.5S equals 6 minus A. Here I get uh, 176 minus 22s equals 8 minus a. And if I add, uh, subtract 8 from both sides, subtract 6 from both sides, I get 63 minus 11.5s equals negative a. Here I get 168 minus 22s equals negative a. So this and this both equal negative a. So this must equal this. So 63 minus 11.5s should equal 168 minus 22s. Okay. So I'm going to subtract, add 11.5s to both sides. So I get 63 equals 168 minus 10.5s. I'm going to subtract 168 from both sides. 
and I get one negative 105 equals negative 10.5 s. If I divide by negative 10.5, I get s is equal to 10 feet. So that says inside the room, 10 feet is where that source is. Because it becomes x minus 10 is where the vertical asymptote is. Okay? So 10 feet into the room is where it's at. Okay. Now, what's wrong with this model? Several things. First of all, there's no x-intercept. Second of all, if you were bring, walking in with this magna, the Gauss meter and you get to it, the meter is going to go up. But as soon as you passed it, it's going to come back down. This says the multiplicity of the denominator has to be 2. And there's no x-intercept, so this should be just a constant above it. The model for this problem should be the um, measure of the mag magnetic field as a function of where it's at, should be some number over uh, x minus wherever the source is squared. That's it. Because it goes in the same direction here and same direction here. Now, this would have a horizontal asymptote of zero. They kind of indicated, indicated it has a horizontal asymptote of y equals or m equals of 0 0.2. Well, this is going to zero. So the only way we could have this have a horizontal asymptote of 0 0.2 0 .2 is to raise this curve up 0 0.2. So this has got to be the correct form for the equation. Now, if we use the correct form and solve for A and S, mainly solve for S, using these two data points, we'll get a better and more correct model that has the right characteristics for this situation. So, a reading of 2.3 when we're at x of 6. And we get a reading of 4.4 when we put it at 8. Okay. Now, with this being squared, solving this gets pretty messy. Well, it, yeah, it's going to get pretty messy. Um, instead of doing, let's see, instead of doing the messy mathematics, let's see, which way do I want to do it? Let's, let's, let's go ahead and do this. Let's subtract the point 0.2 from both sides. So we get, uh, we would get 2.1 equals a over 6 minus s squared. That's 36 minus 12s plus s squared. 
And if I subtract the 0.2 from both sides of this, I get 4.2 equals A over 64 minus 16S plus S squared. If I multiply both sides by this common denominator, I will get A equals this 2.1 times this, and A equal 4.2 times this. So I would get 2.1 times S squared minus 12S plus 36, that equals A, because I'm multiplying both sides by this denominator. And from this one, A would equal 4.2 times S squared minus 16S plus 64. So, I get 2.1s squared minus, see, 12 times 2.1 is 24, 25.2, and 2.1s. I better get my calculator out here and make sure I'm doing these right instead of doing all this in my head and getting messed up. Okay, yes, my batteries are low. That's because I'm old and tired. Okay, no. 2.1 times 1 is 2 there, times negative 12 is negative 25.2. 2.1 times 36 is 75.6, 4.2s squared, 4.2 times negative 16 is negative 67.2s and then 4.2 times 64 is plus 268.8. This is a quadratic, so I need to get it equal to zero. So I'm going to subtract 2.1s squared from both sides. I'm going to add 25.2s to both sides. And I'm going to subtract 75.6 from both sides. Because quadratics, you want to make it equal to 0. So 2.1 from 4.2 is 2.1s squared. And 25 from 67, the point twos cancel, is 42. And 0.6 from there, that's 0.2. 5 from 8 is 3. 7 from 26 is 19. So I can put this in the quadratic formula which I have in my calculator, so I'm just going to do it that way. Program, quadratic formula. A is 2.1. B is negative 42. And C is 193.2. And S is either 12.8 two feet into the room 
or it is 7.17 in the room. Which one makes sense? Well, they described walking in. Let's, I need the picture here. And I need my answers. So they said, as this person walked closer, when they were six feet in, it was 2.3, and it was on its way up. So we presumably, they didn't get to it yet. So 7.1 would say they already passed it. That would be putting the vertical asymptote here. So this one doesn't make sense. And this particular model, it gives uh, the source to be at 12.82 feet into the room. And this model has the right characteristics. It goes closer and closer to point 0.2. And a reasoning for the point two might be, we live on the Earth, so there's always some magnetic field around us. So this is this would never get lower than the magnetic field that's in general around us all the time. But once we get closer and closer to a magnetic source, it would get higher and higher and higher. And then once we pass it, it'll start coming back down. And so this model that has, um, that ha that I wrote here is a better model. I haven't solved for A. I just figured out what the S is because that tells us where the source has to be. And that's all they wanted. This would be a better model for this situation than the one they came up with. They came up with it being 10 feet inside, but I think it should be 12.82 according to the data they have. But they asked us to use that model, in, which is basically this model. And so 10 is their answer.